Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool arcade game video for you this evening. Check out what we have got. We have got Atari's old school 1998 Radical Bikers arcade game. And not only do we have one, we have two that are linked together. You are rarely going to see that because the cable that links them together is hard to find apparently. But it was in the bottom of one of the cabinets and they linked right up. So here we are. Um, this was made by a Spanish company, which I believe is pronounced Gelco, but I may be pronouncing that wrong because I am not Spanish. But it's G-A-E-L-C-O, as you see on the screen there. Uh, they licensed it to Atari in America, and in 1998, they released these arcade game cabinets. I used to work for an operator. We had these out on route, and they did pretty good. People liked them. It was a kind of cool game, so uh, we're going to play it a little bit, check out the cabinet, and uh, film it for posterity so nobody forgets it, right? This, um, this cabinet is the Atari cabinet, of course, but it, it looks just like the Midway cabinets. I guess by then maybe Atari had been... Uh, purchased by Midway or they had all joined together I don't know but it's the same cabinet that Mortal Kombat 2 was in it's very similar to the Mortal Kombat 1 cabinet it was one of the most popular cabinets ever you can see that we've actually got a Street Fighter 2 cabinet here that's been kitted into the same cabinet and we've got a big buck hunter here that has been kitted into the same cabinet uh, I don't know if we've got any more of them in here or not but we get that cabinet all the time. There's a multi-game up there that's in the same cabinet. We get them all the time. It's it's one of the best-selling styles of cabinet ever because they made so many cool games in it. So this same cabinet with the full side art would have been used on, or a similar one on Mortal Kombat 1, but pretty much the same on Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, Mortal Kombat 4, War Gods, Killer Instinct, Killer Instinct 2, and the list goes on and on and on and on. So they pulled out the awesome cabinet whenever they decided to make the dedicated Radical Bikers. Now, it's kind of a strange game. You're delivering pizza. And so on the side you have pizza slices, crazy colors, guy on a little scooter with a nice grin, lady up here leaning out the window saying, my pizza was cold or something like that she's very upset about something well, we've got two of them joined side by side here they exist though as individual cabinets so you can unplug them and play them separately um, or join them together I don't know I think you could just join two together the way it, the setup works so I don't think you would ever see more than two because the boards just connect directly to each other. The cable that you use to connect it is a, uh, it's just a, it looks like a VGA cable. Uh, the one that came with it is fairly short, so I did a little research and a bunch of people online were saying uh, that they weren't able to find the cable to connect theirs and all that. And I thought, well, hey, it looks just like a VGA cable. So I tried a VGA cable. doesn't work. But it's got that same uh, pinout. Well, not the same pinout. It's got the same size and everything, but the pinout apparently is different. So until somebody figures out which wire, you'd think that you could just take the cord and compare the, the wires inside of it to see what connects to what because it's inside of a cable. I mean, there shouldn't be anything in there except this wire goes here, this wire goes there. I don't know. But they had the, the game was dominated by these weird handlebar controls. There was one of the radical bikers out back. What perfect timing that radical biker out back had. The game had these these strange controls that are, you know, meant to look like the front of like a a little uh Vespa or something, right? Um you can move left or right. You can move backwards. You can't move forward. You move backwards. Uh, the throttle is over here, which you actually twist. And then there is a brake on this side. 
There's also a view button on the control panel and a start button on the control panel. But that's it. Very simple controls. Um, basically you move through traffic, you accelerate while you're doing it, and sometimes you want to pull back uh, whenever you make jumps and things. I always thought they were really good looking cabinets though, right? Don't they look fantastic? I mean, they don't look like a Pac-Man, but they do look fantastic. Another thing I wanted to show you, this Gelco company, I'm just going to call it Gelco if that's wrong, deal with it. This Gelco company made this game for Atari way back in the day. World Rally. It says Atari Games, copyright 1993. It says Galelco. <laughs> Did they spell it wrong? It says G A L E L C O. Have I been have I been spelling it wrong the whole time? I thought it was G A E L C O. But that says G A L E L C O. All rights reserved. Uh, license to Atari Games. Let's see if it what it says on the screen. It's going to tell us here in just a second, I'm sure. Galelco. That would be Galelco. <laughs> no, Galco. They printed it wrong on the, on the marquee. I just noticed that. G-A-L-E-L-C-O. That's not right. What are they thinking? So anyway, back to the modern ones. I love whenever you link a couple games and it plays the same the track, you know, all synced up. That's just cool, man. That's cool. Some games that'll have like a an track that stretches across both screens. Very, very, very smooth. Okay, so let's see what it says down here at the bottom. So it says Radical Bikers, Atari, and it's got the little logo. Power ups, T, turbo, high speed. Question mark is a random. The bomb is a power kick. The red is it adds time. The purple is it adds extra points. Find shortcuts. Deliver your pizza first to continue for free. Hint, pull back on the handlebar to get higher jumps. Oh, and if I didn't mention it, these are dedicated cabinets. So these would have came from the, from, this is not a kit that you put in a Mortal Kombat cabinet or anything. These are like, they came from the factory just like this in a big box. <laughs> okay, so what I'll do is I will set the tripod up and we'll watch the attract mode a little bit because the attract mode is really cool. Um, and then we'll play it a little bit, see what everybody thinks. I can't ever get the jumps right. They made this for uh, the PlayStation, but only in Europe. So you couldn't get it in the United States. But I think in the United States, a lot of people probably did play it in the arcade because it, uh, it was all over the place for a while. So there's four players. There's Carlo here. And then there's Cheeky Sophia. And there is, which one is that? I guess that would be Carlo. Okay, so my standard disclaimer, the little lines and stuff that you see going through the screen, you don't see in real life. It's just the cam it's an artifact of the camera. If you win the four rides, you access the next stage.
power kick. How do you do that? You just run into them, I guess. Oh, it's a, it's a, uh, I guess it's one of the secret things in the secret box. All right, I wanted to introduce the other two, the other two drivers. So this is Nina and Gino. Okay, so there's uh, easy, medium, and hard. So we're going to play easy. Uh, we better do light. So light, medium, and hot, it says. And it's waiting for the link on the other player. Just me. Margarita. Margarita. All right. So we got to be Sophia, right? So, you're trying to beat the CPU. Whoop, I just killed a dog. the CPU guy if I catch him. Oh, it wore out. I don't have a power kick anymore. Oh, I thought that was a power up. And this is the easy one.
continue. quarter okay <laughs> so that's the easy so I guess we'll try medium maybe the music will be different it's gonna be hard to beat that get out of my way I'm a radical biker get out of my way I'm the pizza man that was catchy all right so we're gonna do medium waiting for link Capricciosa. Let's beat the other chick. Uh oh. There we go.
well ahead of me. at the hard level. I mean the hot level. Waiting for Link. Diabola! Diabola! Let's see if one of the dudes... Maybe they've got the... Uh, the uh, Maybe they've, they're biased, and they've got it set up so the chicks can't drive. <laughs> oh, I thought I still had my power kick. Whoa!
lot of play for one credit, though. You got to give them that. So we meet again. I say get out of my way, but I'm afraid I'll start singing. to beat this game but there you go that is Atari's super cool Galco's super cool radical bikers there's something about seeing a couple of them linked up that makes it really cool tough though man and I think I just got it set on the normal setting in the in the the uh, test menu but like i said you do get a lot of play for 50 cents so i guess you know if i got you good at it <laughs> but uh I don't know, you can't really complain that you didn't get a play for a while for one credit get out of my way i'm a radical biker get out of my way i'm the pizza man and then i think he was saying he's living on his own Living on my own, <laughs> uh, sitting by the phone. <laughs> That's fantastic. Fantastic. I give them an A for effort. Pretty interesting little game. Now, by the time you see this Radical Bikers, both of these suckers might have rolled off to somebody else's game room. So we might not have either one of them for sale anymore. But you can check out our website and see if that's true. Go to lionsarcade.com. It's always up to date. It, all of our, uh, whenever we get a new game ready to go, we uh, we put it up on there. You know, in these pictures, the way that video was doing, it looks like they're different colors, but they're not. Here, let me go the other way, and I'll show you what I mean. So if I put the camera over here, it was just some kind of light trick. There we go. That's better. See how they look identical? That's how they look here in person. They're almost identical. There's maybe a 1% difference between the two monitors. You know how hard I worked to get those two monitors to look identical? So, check out our website. It's always up to date. All of the games that we have available for sale. Lionsarcade.com. Or you can come by and see us. We've got a whole building full of arcade games here. Uh, we're in, on, uh, in downtown Rock Hill south carolina which is about 15 miles south of charlotte north carolina and like i said we've got a whole building full of arcade games at all times so if you're in the area stop by and check us out shoot the breeze 
Now, if you're not in the area, so you can't come by, and you don't really want to buy one because they're so expensive to get it shipped, that's just fine. Subscribe to us here on YouTube, and we, we do new videos like this all the time. Um, and it'll, you know, if you ring the bell or whatever, if you LL Cool J it, it uh, will tell you every time we put up a new video. Because you rang the bell, I believe. I think that's how that works. I don't know. I don't know why they make it so complicated. Well, how come they can't? How come you can't just subscribe and then everybody gets all your your videos? It's still looking the in the look. It still looks like the colors are different, but they're not. I'm looking at them here in person. They are not different. <laughs> the monitors look exact. Anyway, leave your comments below. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you, and. Uh, what we like people to leave in the comments the most is, tell us about where you used to play this thing. I know everybody's played this game because just the company I worked for alone had them out on location all over the place. So you may have played one that I was going around collecting the money out of. So leave your comments below. Let us know what you think about them. Let us know if you remember playing them. Did you ever play the PlayStation version that's uh, only available in Europe? Uh, you know, the sequel to this, really, there was a spiritual successor called Smashing Drive and I'd like to get those in too they're, they're sit down games that was very similar but you you uh, you ran into a like on this how they got the power kick thing you had you had a lot more of that going on where the cars ran into other cars and made them explode and stuff like that but uh, the graphics look similar and stuff and then uh, they also supposedly made a Radical Bikers 2 but unfortunately it is a game of fable because it was never released so I don't think anybody's ever played it. I don't know if the uh, prototype has ever leaked or anything. But supposedly there was a Radical Bikers Part 2 that never came out. So leave your comments below. Let us know where you used to play it. And we will see you on the next video.